Hello, hello! In this video, you're going to learn how to build this simple but extremely useful timesheet in Google Sheets. You can enter start times and stop times, and the template calculates the total hours automatically. You can also track work time over several weeks as well, and you can view all the hours for each week on the summary page. Plus, I will show you how to easily add more weeks in just a matter of seconds. Okie dokie, now that you know what you're building, let's get to it. As always, you will be starting with a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet. The first thing that you want to do is get rid of all the rows and columns that you don't need. So start by selecting columns G through Z, right click, and delete. Next, click right here in the name box and type in 10 colon 1000 and press enter. This will select rows 10 through 1000 and once you have them selected, just right click and delete. Now let's make these cells a little bigger. So select rows one through nine, right click and resize rows. Change the height to 30 and click OK. Awesome. Next, click here to select every cell, then change the horizontal alignment to center and change the vertical alignment to middle. Now let's type in some data. Start by selecting cell A1 and enter date. Then in B1, type in in, then out, in, out, and hours. Then select cell A9 and type in total. Now we need to adjust the number formatting for the various columns. So start by selecting column A, then click the more formats button here and select custom date and time. From here, pick a date format that you like, or you can build your own date format up here. And once you've got it, click on apply. Next, select columns B through E, click the More Formats button, and select Custom Date and Time. Pick a time format that works for you, and then click on Apply. Finally, select column F, click the More Formats button here, and select the format number. Fantastic! Now it's time to add in some dates. So start by selecting cell A2 and enter a date of your choice. I myself will be entering in June 3rd, 2024, since it's a Monday. Then once you've entered the date, select cell A3 and enter the following formula. Equals A2 plus one. You can then drag this formula down with the fill handle. All this formula does is increment the date in the cell above by one, thereby giving you the dates in order. Okay, now for the times. Go ahead and enter in some sample times like so. Once you've added the times, select cell F2 and enter the following formula. Equals, open parentheses, open parentheses, C2, minus B2, close parentheses, plus open parentheses, E2 minus D2, close parentheses, close parentheses, times 24. This formula calculates the difference between each set of times, and then it adds those together. And then of course, it multiplies all of that by 24. Now you multiply by 24 here to give you the numerical number of hours. And it works this way because times are simply stored as numbers in Google Sheets. In fact, times are stored as fractions of 24 since there are 24 hours in one day. For example, 6 a.m. is equivalent to 0.25 because six hours divided by 24 is equal to 0.25. And so we multiply by 24 here to transform the fraction or time into a numerical number of hours. That being said, once you have the formula working, 
go ahead and use the fill handle to copy the formula down to cell F8. Finally, select cell F9 and enter the formula equals sum function F2 through F8, close parentheses and press enter. This gives you the total number of hours for the week. Awesome. Now that the formulas are complete, let's add in some formatting. Starting by selecting row one, go ahead and bold the font and add a light green fill color or a color of your choice. Next, select row nine, bold the font and add a light blue fill color or a color of your choice. Then select A2 through A8 and add a light gray fill color then select F2 through F8, add a light gray fill color, and change the font color to blue. Now for your final step, double click on the sheet tab at the bottom and change the name to WK1. And now you have your weekly timesheet. Fantastic. Up next, we're going to build the summary sheet. And I'll also show you how to add more weeks as well. First, the summary sheet. Go ahead and right click on the sheet tab and select duplicate. Move the copy to the front and rename the copy to summary. Then on the summary worksheet, select columns B through E, right click and delete. You can then delete all of the data in A2 through B8. At this point, select column A, click the more formats button and select automatic. Then change the value in cell A1 to weak. Now this next part is very important. Enter the name of the week one worksheet tab into cell A2. And you want to be sure that what you type here matches the worksheet name exactly. Otherwise, the formula that you're about to write isn't going to work. And once you've written the worksheet name, which in this case is WK1, go ahead and select cell B2 and type in the following formula. Equals indirect function A2 ampersand quote exclamation point F9 quote close parentheses. This formula takes the worksheet name in A2 and uses it to create a reference to cell F9 on that worksheet. And this is why it's important to make sure that the text in cell A2 matches the worksheet name exactly. And now that you have the formula written, all that's left is for me to show you how to add more weeks to your spreadsheet. To add another week, follow these exact steps. Right click on the week tab and select duplicate. Rename the copy to WK2 or anything that you want. Clear all of the time data, but make sure that you don't delete the formulas. And then change the date in cell A2 to the next Monday or a date of your choice. You can then come back to the summary worksheet and copy the formula in B2 down one row with the fill handle. You then just type in the name of the new worksheet and you have the total hours from that worksheet. Now to add more weeks, just repeat this very same process. How amazing is that? I'd say it's pretty amazing. And if you want to continue building amazing things, then check out this video on how to build an awesome task tracker in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching, like this video if you had fun, and subscribe if you learned something new. And as always, I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.